The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. Excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And uh, continue to have uh, issues with our technology today. And uh, not exactly sure what's going on, but uh, been battling the last couple of days. And uh, today, Skype is uh, giving me a little bit of a problem. But it doesn't really matter, even if you're uh, normally here at 2. Uh, it's okay if you're here at 2.22. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So, power trading 40 minutes instead of that uh, today. Okay, so let me see if I can't turn that down. Maybe that's a little bit better. Biggest problem I have is, there I go, as I'm hearing myself a little bit. And we can turn that up. Okay. Um, so what do we have going on today? Of course, the Fed came out with uh, minutes uh, about 22 minutes ago. And we're seeing the market respond. Eh, it's doing a kind of a big uh, yeah, gulp. I don't see a lot going on in the market. Uh, we'll uh, go back and take a look. And update these. Then we'll go through a bunch of charts that, uh, that we couldn't uh, get to uh, yesterday. Uh, but uh, as we speak, uh, down three on the S&P, Dow down 58, NASDAQ down 13, Russell down, let's call it 14. But uh, yeah, me, not a lot going on there. Let's do a little history and then uh, we'll come back with the rest and try to get everything worked. Out. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is nothing but history repeating. And see what we have on this. And that is what? Oh, on this day in 1995, IBM completes a $3.5 billion buyout of Lotus uh, Development. The producer of the once dominant Lotus 123 spreadsheet software and the then popular note, uh, Lotus Notes groupware, IBM had hoped to leverage Lotus 123 to challenge the increasingly demanded Microsoft Excel software. But at last, there was a little slowing down of the Microsoft juggernaut during the 1990s. Lotus 123 steadily lost market share, and IBM finally announced the end of support for. Lotus Software in 2013. Uh, I was inflicted uh, with uh, this software in about 1995 or six or seven. And uh, yeah, I could tell you that it wasn't going very far. It had problems from the get go. But uh, one of the reasons I wanted to talk about this is more about how many times buyouts actually work. And uh, not a lot. Um, I don't know if anything uh, in the last, I'm going to call it the last uh, five years, but before that, they regularly uh, in many uh, financial colleges do surveys and studies of buyouts. And uh, for the most part, if they're really, really big and uh, really the point is just making monopolies, they tend to work out fairly well. Uh, if you're buying high technology, like IBM buying Lotus, eh, the batting average is actually fairly poor, depending on how you want to rate it, somewhere between maybe 30% and 10% of these ever work out. Generally, what happens is the, the people that get bought out, the programmers who actually make all this stuff work and actually know how it all works, uh, go and find other jobs. Uh, they always know that they're kind of the redheaded stepsister, uh, but uh, yeah, they find a new company where it's not as bad. Anyway, as we return, 
try to get uh, the rest of everything fixed. Back to you. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we uh, continue on, See if I can turn this up. There we go. Uh, we'll go out. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to do today was uh, go back to uh, what we had yesterday, and that was uh, looking through a lot of stocks. So we're going to go back through these. We started uh, A to Z yesterday. So why don't we try, uh, try Z to A today, and uh, we'll see how this is working. Um, actually, we looked at a lot of stocks that were bottoming. Uh, wanted to check this one out to see whether or not it was topping or not. Yum China, uh, Y U M C. Is it Young M C or Yum M C? Maybe, maybe they're getting all hip hop with us. Anyway, uh, looking at uh, Yum China, Y U M C, not Young M C. May 31st, $48.90, uh, nine and a half million uh, shares. You got into that with less than half on July 1st. And of course, going into Friday, maybe not the best signal in the world, but certainly uh, interesting that they're trying to run this thing going into the long weekend. Uh, yesterday, uh, when the market moved higher, this moved lower. Uh, you only had about 4.2 million shares. Doji today. So is this just working its way back into this double gap at about 45 uh, for support? Uh, one of the few stocks that actually was on the top side uh, and trending lower. 
Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. We continue to watch the market. I know we got some questions. We're up about 15 points now on the S&P cash. We got some questions too here. Am I okay? Yeah, just technical difficulties. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, instead of putting it in the, put it all in the subject. I'm devs in Lotus Notes about 10 years at a big four accounting firm making it do stuff it wasn't designed to do. Uh, thanks, Indo. Okay. So they liked it. Uh, see attached. I just sold the idea of getting back lower or depending. I got this big screen picture here uh, that we see, and I don't even know how to make it smaller in email at the moment to actually. Oh, he's just showing a uh, declining wedge. Uh, so, yeah, kind of like that. Um, I'm going to say that for the most part, I'm not going to put a lot of faith. And what happens uh, today, uh, I kind of like the uh, story already, which is today is Delta Neutral Day for option market makers. So when you have a shortened week in uh, Delta Neutral, it tends to start the day before. They get a little bit ahead of the game why the volume's low. So I think uh, today is, uh, and probably through... Uh, the end of the day is more about getting out of the way. In case the uh, Fed notes today at two or something really big, I have a feeling that uh, many of the people that were short or that had uh, uh, put uh, risk on got that risk off yesterday. Part of one of the reasons why we saw a little bit higher besides just fund buying coming in itself. But uh, Generally, on fund buying, um, if you get it on a Fed day or something like this, uh, you'll see it in the very last 15, 30 minutes of the day. They'll wait and see what happens. Um, is there any kind of uh, – well, this is just the minutes. So there's uh, no uh, press for, uh, conference today. So I'm going to say wait uh, and before you really start making any kind of decision, a big one. Uh, we've got Dave from Framingham on the line. How you doing today, Dave? I'm fine. At least it's sunny out. Uh, um, can you take a look at FCX report Macaran? I am. So okay, you got a you. you got a big ABC on the way down. What are you thinking here? I think it's quite a bottomed out today. Uh, why is that? It seemed to have bounced off the twenty six twenty one low. Okay, that's part of it. Uh, one to one ABC takes you to twenty five oh six. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. Um, I mean, is that going to hit that? Do you think, or it may and it may not? Or? Well, you're kind of getting a little bit of support here. Uh, the thing that this looks like it's going after, though, uh, that would give you a much better risk reward is if it tested this candle of uh, the 27th of January, yeah, January 27th of 2021, uh, the low of that day was 24.55. Yeah. And so, I mean, you're fairly close, I think, of taking it, and maybe today is the day. You got uh, how much? Uh, you got 24 million, but yesterday you had 35 million. So let's say you end up with 30 million today. What is that? Uh, how does that look back into that uh, eventual gap up and the low of that uh, big fat low out there? Well, you had 37 million shares on that low of the 27th of January 2021. Uh, the gap up had about 22 million shares on February 1st, 2021. So I'm not going to say that you had a lot of juice on the way up. Um, That'd be the only thing. Uh, I can't really tell you whether or not that's it. But it, to me, uh, the risk reward would be so much better uh, if you do go back and test that little gap right there. And we'll go back and, yeah, let's just do this. Where do you see that gap, Dave? Uh, 
there's a well the gap that formed that this is hitting now goes back to uh, February 1st of 2021. Okay. Okay. And four days before that, you had a kind of a, a, a island reversal or a abandoned baby at the bottom, whatever you want to call it. But that had huge volume at 37.3 million shares. That was on the 27th of January 2021. And I would say that your risk reward, although, you know, it's not bad today. The risk reward gets much better uh, testing that low on lighter volume. What was that low? Would you think? Well, the low is twenty four dollars fifty five cents. Oh, okay. The high, the high of that day is twenty uh, twenty six twenty one. Okay. So, oh, okay. So you've got a little bit out here. I mean, you kind of got into it today, right? Okay. But it, it, I think you, you know. Probably going to get 30 million shares, right? Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, you're trying to get in below 37 for that abandoned baby reversal candle uh, to, to back here on the 27th of 2001. It's just that uh, I've seen those uh, reversal candles and why they're great on the upside. Uh, they do get a high preponderance, probably 80% retested and you're either going to get into the wick of that as i said uh is that right 26 dollars yeah 26 dollars and 21 cents which is today yeah. uh it's just barely touched uh i would say though uh well let's take a look at just today. hang on a second yeah Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, are you still on the line there for us? Yeah. David, okay. I was wondering, there's a gap at 33.83 on FCX going back a few couple of weeks. Do you see that getting filled at all? Yeah, that probably uh, the high of 32.30 back on yeah. June 28th. Uh, yeah, that would, be, that would probably be the retest back up there, but probably um, one of the things that I don't see is any real... Uh, uh, stop in the energy. So yeah, could you get four or six bucks out of the thing? You could, or it could just be a fifty percent bounce. Um, yeah. What you really, real, what you really want is the volume to come out. And since the energy came down much harder than it went up, um, I would say that more than likely you're going to have a consolidation before you have the market going back higher. Yeah. Yeah, because I keep on looking at that gap there at the thirty three eighty three. I mean, it's up. It's doing all right today, from the twenty six twenty one. It's up to twenty seven oh three here. You know. Okay. Yeah, I just think that. Uh, why are you long this thing now? Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, I I don't think that there's a big hurry. Okay. If uh, if something didn't move yesterday on the way up or today, uh, of that then. I think you're probably looking somewhere. You probably should be looking somewhere else. Okay. If fund yeah. buying didn't, if fund buying didn't see money come in, then the problem is uh, that uh, that could be an issue. Yeah, I mean it's going up now. I'm just wondering if it's got another couple of more days of upside here to fill that gap. No. <laughs> I think it goes sideways. Yeah. To, to, okay. to me, it goes sideways. Again, the first thing you want to do is see uh, uh, if there was, uh, let's see what we have here, is you kind of have an ABC on the way down. Didn't have much of a reversal, only about four bucks from June 23rd to June 28th, and then it came down. So see if you have anything in retracements out here. Um Kind of uh, the, probably the first thing you'd look at if you did go long uh, was uh, 618. Is what, about uh, right at 30 bucks? And there's okay. a gap right there. So that's okay. where resistance probably going to come back in if you do get a bounce. I think that there are stocks out there that have much better possible returns. So okay. I'd probably just I'd look elsewhere. Okay. Okay, thank you, David. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I think I finally figured out the problem here. And uh, I thought it was bad cable. It was not. Uh, it is a new version of Skype, and I think I'm homing in on what's going on. Uh, XOM. Uh, we were talking about how a lot of these energy stocks look like they were starting to bottom out. Uh, now, Exxon did uh, give a fairly decent signal today. Uh, that is the test of the June 23rd low, $83.52. Uh, 35 uh, million, yeah, it was called 36 million shares uh, today. It has pierced that low at 83.52, down to 81.01. It's very close to closing above that uh, 
you're at 83.30 now. Uh, again, I think maybe a little consolidation on some of these, but this one may bottom today. So let's take a look at the XLE. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, you got a little bit of a doji out here. Uh, I don't see a lot. Let's go back and look at the longer term out here, which I'm suspecting is one of the reasons that this is in my list. Uh, you had a big low on January 28th, 2022. That is this year, if you live in Lutz. $40 at uh, seven and a quarter million shares. Uh, you pierced it today. Yeah, you may not get all the light volume you wanted. This is another thing going back into the metals and FCX and some of that stuff. Um, the only good thing is you did come down on a little bit lighter volume. You had a lot of gaps. Uh, they're going to act as uh, resistance on the way back up. Uh, but uh, you need to come in today with uh, or finish today with less than seven uh, and a quarter million shares. So is it done? Yeah, I don't know. Again, not uh, wanting to get in front of this train. 877-927-6648. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Just clicked on the wrong spot. Okay. Uh, didn't do that. Uh, and we have United States Steel. This uh, has broken the previous low of uh, two, two, two. What is this? the 29th of June. And you got about 11 million shares. You really didn't get the volume when you did break that big low, which was January 24th of 2022 this year. Uh, you had 32 million shares at just a hair under 18. So you've kind of been going down uh, on light volume here. But again, you need to close back above 18 bucks to really make any kind of signal. Uh, but you are kind of dragging this out back into that low. Um, you are very close to a previous low, too, that had 56 million shares in the low. And that low uh, for United States Steel. Uh, is uh, February 3rd, 2021. That one had 56 million shares. Again, your risk reward is probably going to go up significantly if you get a test of 50, or I mean 1608 uh, with this kind of super light volume. You're only 20, 30 cents away. I would say that that's going to come down there and test that extremely high volume low. And as my uh, mentors uh, like to say, High volume lows are not lows until they've been retested, and this is really the first retest since that February 3rd, 2021. But you're fairly close, so that's kind of it. Okay. Okay. And WTI. Okay, so what do we have here? About 30 seconds. Uh, WT Offshore, WTI broke the previous low. That had 4.5 million shares at $3.80. Uh, you broke that yesterday with 6 million shares. So that did break that with volume. You came down on bigger energy. Uh, that is not looking good. WPM. Wheaton Precious Metals. We talked about these yesterday, how many that they're in. Uh, we'll finish this up with a couple more stocks, uh, but a little higher volume than you wanted from the previous low in uh, Wheaton Precious Metals. So we'll take a look at that when we return. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. 
Vistagold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vistagold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vistagold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vistagold, executing strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, as we get ready to uh, move out, it looks like, damn, uh, hey, boiling down our problems live on the air with uh, audio. And it looks like after probably seven years or eight years of using uh, Skype, they finally made some of the settings work. <laughs> I guess uh, since I just updated everything this morning, I got that update. But uh, yeah, things are flying around a bit. I thought everything was broken. Uh, I was mistaken. They actually fixed what was broken, and now I think – it was broken because they fixed it, but there uh, weren't a lot of uh, signs out there. But now, actually, everything's starting to work as it should have uh, seven or eight years ago. So I guess you can always thank Microsoft for that. Uh, anyway, we were talking about wheat and uh, precious metals when we left. And you got into that previous low of, uh, what are we going to call that, uh, 34. Yeah, we're going to call that 34, 39 which is the March 3rd low at 3 million shares. You hit that today already with uh, 3 million shares. So if you are thinking about maybe buying some of these gold stocks that did hit previous lows with uh, higher volume, uh, it's not that much higher. And uh, maybe they're going to close above, what is that, 34, 39? What's the last one here? Uh, 34, 47. So it's 8 cents above it. Uh Maybe you, you get a little reprieve and it bounces and then it comes back down and you get a light volume test.
But it uh, doesn't look to me like there's any kind. I've been waiting to see if I couldn't buy gold down here at the lows. Maybe you're going to get some kind of really blowout of these lows uh, in the metals and some of these other ones in the precious metals anyway, and that'll set up a low. Anyway, uh, we kind of uh, soldiered through here today, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to lick our wounds and be back tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to